Regardless, GP versus Swistak. Right, this is our run back from winner's semis. Yes. Swistak won that game five. Yes. It was a back and forth set. Yes. But <laughs> towards the end, it was quite commanding for Swistak, I can't lie. Because sometimes you just get to do stuff like this, where you hit a billion moves, force the Ike off the stage, and he quick draws high so you don't get an amazing kill at the end. But it still looked impressive. Yeah. Honestly, GP has been getting away with a lot of high quick draws versus Swistag. In these situations where he has no double jump, and it's like Gimp could, could kill here, GP's always going for a high quick draw. And Swistag is not punishing it. Like, he's just tunnel visioning on the Gimp. I think he needs to, like, take a step back. Oh, I think he should. I don't, I don't know if he needs to, because he won the last set anyway. I think he should take a step back and just, like, realize that and go for the quick draws instead. Tom Hawk will get the advantage. But Kiri has a double jump, so he's going to go low, see? Yeah. Let's just take a drink. If he had no double jump, he'd go high, though. Like, you can just see like the amount of pressure that Swistak is piling on here, where he's just constantly just in GP zone, where right now it's costing him a fair bit, because now GP's actually landing aerials, but before it was just constant pressure applied. It doesn't get the needles. Well, that would have been a bounce fish to stock, presumably, but like just runs up, hit, tries to forward air. Yeah. He just does not oh! Perhaps he should, because once again, GP the gets the air up there. Perfect hit of Nair. That was beautiful. I mean, it was bad DI from Swistak, of course, but like you can't really blame him for that. That was beautiful Nair. Like, you, you, the bad DI is usually I'm not expecting to get hit. I'm holding the direction I want to move, not yeah, what basically. I want to DI. Yeah, like, basically. You can, you can catch people out of movement, and you know you can just... It is my favorite you thing. You can just hit them with a DI check. Happens all the time, really. Yeah. It, you can't expect them to react. Oh, it's just like just, he had so many opportunities <laughs> to extend that combo with the up air with the tech chase, and he just couldn't find anything. But <coughs> not deterred, still trying to just run at GP in a not quite a straight line, but as about a straight line as Sheik is willing to run. A slight lead for GP right now, but. You know, can't count Swistak out. Keeps up these, this anti air, just suffocating that airspace where GP's trying to build up this wall of nerves. But one unsafe Never aerial. Mind getting one hit again. unsafe aerial is all the window GP needs to take the stock. Now has a pretty commanding lead in this game. But there's a chance here. No, Honestly, GP just goes over the top of him. If Swistak wants to win this more consistently, I do this versus GP as well. I think you want to diversify your counter play to Ike Nair. Same with Ike Nair, there's like. I would say there's three main ways to counter it, Ike Nair. You either read the full hop to just stuff out the airspace, just by going for like approaching Nair, approaching fair. You anti-air it on reaction, so you're playing grounded on reaction, and then you do a short hop up air on reaction when you see him full hop, like dash short hop up air. And the third one is you parry it, and you just do a tilt after. He's only really suffocating the airspace. He's not going for parries, and he's not anti-airing on reaction. I think if he does those other two things... Oh, good catch. He can really take GP out. That's how I like... Dominate GP in sets. <laughs> as you mix up between the three main counter plays, there's nothing he can do because I have three ways and I'm mixing up between all the three ways to beat him. But if you if you only do one, he can start playing around that option and then he can start reading you back. Just bad. He's really take a drink and yeah, like not throwing fault of GPs. Ike's game plan is fairly linear, so yep. you do just have to like deal with the one thing that GP can really threaten you with, which is that Nair, and if he catches on to how you're dealing with it, it's very easy to punish. And that's almost the stock there. Good, yeah. good TI from nice Swistak carry. Alive. That's what I'm talking about. Goes for some drill setups. He's mixing him. He did 12%. <laughs> I was expecting a grab. He's like, you expect the, the leaping aerial or the, like, the repeating up air. I was, I was fully expecting this to the Tomahawk, but doesn't opt for it. Just for more buttons instead. As both players, I was say both players at high percent, but I can probably live at that number. Doesn't get the forward air extension off the needles. Raw bouncing fish though, and again high quick draw. And Swistak has really brought this all the way back. He's got Ike, you know, just like kill percent in the corner. It was looking like GP had this game in the bag, but Swistak not going down without a fight right now. Playing slow and patient. Swistak is a very. Both these players are very slow. Actually, just two minutes left on the clock, but having patience. Oh my god. Patience until you know when the opportunity. Right after is there. I call GP patient. Right after I call GP patient, he just does that. Yeah. Like a viper, wait till a perfect oh. moment and then you strike. Yeah. That was a really important dash tag. Winning that game one, 
changes like so much. Like, because just the momentum in terms of how many games you have to win. <laughs> Winning game one means you only need to win two more games to win the set. Well, yeah. <laughs> I get what you mean, though. It does, like, mathematics. Because especially when you come to stage counter picks, we're going to Hollow Bastion, speaking of which. It does also the flow of the match significantly. If you try his hardest to STI these nairs, does get out quite early. But then just quick draws very aggressively and gets caught with a jab. Oh, I like this off stage. What on earth am I watching? We're watching some. Why actually. would you pick that option? The up B sends out a 60 degree angle. Bro, that was so beautiful until you just did the wrong move. I mean, the up B was beautiful too, but it was still the wrong choice. But it was still a beautiful up B. I, th I think if you do that, you reset the situation, you get him again. I'm fine with it. The fact is, he lived. Like, you've got GP on a fairly, like, unsafe recovery path. Well, you off need, that you side beat, he should have died. He should have died off that side beat. Also, he threw a ledge to take a drink. Mm -hmm. Oh, very aggressive F smash there from Swiss Tech. Trying to read, like, an early landing and... I feel like he does this a lot where just throughout this... Oh! Yeah. Swiss Tech moment number 37! Throughout this tournament, I've seen him, like get overconfident with F smashes and then just die for it. Like I've seen it like <laughs> five times this tournament. It's crazy. It's really check trick. That SD was just tragic. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. Like this this is really rough for Swistak at this point. You that said winning game one was important for GP. I'd say that C threat check trick. I'd say that SD is probably more game losing for Swistak because now there is very little hope that he can actually take this game. Yeah, reverse three O's in general are just really tough. Like being being able to beat someone three games in a row is a real it's a statement, you know. You, have shows, to beat three you just have to be better, like to beat someone three <laughs> games in a row, realistically. You also have to do it twice on their counter pick stage is the really hard part I would say. Yeah. And characters like Sheik, she doesn't really have bad stages, it depends a lot from stage to stage. So it's like clearly, you know, Seems to have gained, regained his composure after that terrible SD, you know, bringing this back, like, truthfully, like, is pretty... Swiss like is, is fairly infl um, inflammable in terms of just his mental state. He will keep going. He will keep trying to yeah. win the game. Unfortunately, doesn't bring your stock back. You do have Ooh! to wipe your pants off, but if you catch Clean. needles in touch smash like that, even. there even. might be a hope. I mean, also as well, like, if you're GP in the situation, you're kind of flummoxed. Because you were like, yeah, it's a free win. And now you're losing. And it's like, here's a double jump. He's Hi. dead. He's dead. He... Nice. He caught him. Nice. He caught him. That was, How? That was such a risky. That was such a risky back air. That was sick. That was that, that was really good gameplay. That was really good gameplay. That was Swiss nice. stack. I was like, after after that air dodge, I was like, I he should be guaranteed dead here. But I didn't know how he was going to kill him. <laughs> and I didn't expect that back air. I thought he was going to die off the bottom blast zone. I, I'm very surprised he lived that. And that was real, you know, it shows how many hours he's put into to Sheik, having the knowledge to, that he's going to get away with that. He's going to die second. Yeah. That was really good for him, Swiss Tag there. All Staying to, alive. All you need to do is interrupt the Ethan once. And I mean, that was a reverse three stock. Now Swiss Tag has, you know, he has he has all the momentum now. He is he has everything to win now. So. We are talking about GP winning the first game, how important that was. After that second game, just gives yeah. away at stock at zero. Doesn't even matter. Swiss stock. Swiss stack is not oh. going down without a fight, that's for sure. The mental game does not matter. It's all about just playing it out. Pokemon Stadium 2. Here we go. <laughs> Trying to pick up some of the conversation. Yeah, both these guys good, good friends, of course. We're all, we're all pals in this region. No, no hard feelings, even if you're playing a minus two matchup and Sheik is really, really annoying to play against. Don't worry about it. There we go. <laughs> All right. Back uh -huh. to the main overlay, game three. Dang, yeah, comeback at Sheik is really difficult as well because you just have to be just in full control. You know, you can't get some cheese, some... You know, obviously, gimping is kind of cheesy, but it's not like... It, it can't just come from nothing, you know. You need to get them off stage. You need to win neutral. You need to outplay them at least twice. You, need, you need to force the situation to get the the uh, get in. Like, there, you it's got... Impressive. Like, last time, it was the early air dodge burn that set uh, Swiss Tech up for success. You only get that by forcing 
the GP to just burn his head on just a really bad situation for himself because he's not going to give it to you otherwise. This and combo has been going tracks. on for a bit too long, in my opinion. Thank you for ending it. No, he's still going. Ooh, that, nice to. that jump. If they, that jump didn't come out and he just started channeling quick draw, he dies. Tries to call out the uh, no air dodge, but GP just air what dodges. What the hell was that air dodge? Bruv, are you, like, what are you? Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Clank. But it's just, like, just message, rapid Stay jab. Cool. That, oh, that setup been is it. so good. I don't know why it didn't work. I guess the percent was a little too high and good DI from GP as well. But that was that setup is so good, man. Just retreating back with that in there. It's lethal. Swiss looking for the opening. Can't find it. Just tapping up with the needles, keeping that damage up. But needs to find a way to take the stock right now. I, again, GP just fades around the needles. That's like the best setup Swiss stack has, and it's just not working out for him right now. Oh, my oh, days. Oh, that was oh, close to both days. of them. Yeah. I expect Quick Draw to win that. I've seen before Quick Draw. That is true. That is really good. That was true. That was true. Sheik has a pretty good jab, too, for comboing off. Kind of like Young Lynx, where it's you get you get jab, jab, down tilt from like 150 onwards. I really like that. Good information to keep in mind then, and it will indeed lead to Swiss Tech getting the stock, but then he just yeah. runs into an up tilt. Maybe mashing a little too hard, his landing, his landing aerial off that full hop getting stuffed out by that up tilt. Smart neutral from GP. And a good tomahawk as well. Threatens the falling forward there, just gets the grab instead. Pins Swiss Tech to the ledge, but Swiss Tech just bullies his way back on. Wall of Pain. Can I get a fifth forwarder? No, you can get an air instead. Let's him ether. Uh, he was feeling himself too much. He wanted to like combo into that side yeah. of the side first putting it there. Oh, no the reversal buttons. not working. Again, air the edge out. But the, the drift was too strong for GP to react to. Mm. God damn. Oh, yeah, that's the thing about air dodge out, especially against, as a sl against a slower character like Ike, and sometimes you can just get out of hell's range. Nice reaction from GP. But unfortunately, the eruption is a very slow move, and he will catch an explosion for his troubles. Yeah, I mean it was a it was a, it was a nice reversal from Swiss Tech because it's kind of unexpected mm. people covering that option. And a good reaction on that dash in as well. I'm really liking this gameplay right now. It's clean. Catching these rolls. Oh, good counter punch there. actually. That's what happens when you're playing best character as light as Sheik. He's killing with Ike and Nair. Not not Nair into upper, just Nair. So yeah, crazy. But yeah, like the fade back from the down tilt is like what set that up because it's obviously Swiss Tech is going to try and convert that into a kill, but. GP just gets the DI right. He's got the lead out. right now. A spot dodge and a nair dodge. Clearly, Swiss Tech a little bit scared right now. GP trying to make the most of it, but... Oh, doesn't get the hit of the quick draw. Pistol has that lead. And Swiss Tech goes low. Trying not to give GP an opportunity at ledge to win the game here. That is so sad. Dash attack oh. killing at 180 gets yeah. the last hit. That the lingering of that is really strong versus that side B, but not finding the conversion, maybe because he's at too high a percent. Kind of rough, uh, yeah, getting a kill with Raw Bear. Kind of rough for Sheik at that point, where it's just so high that you don't have your conversions anymore, your two-hit kill combos. But, but yeah, now Swiss Tech staying composed. And GP's back at zero, so he's back in the blender as far as the combo game is concerned. Yeah, getting this first 50% will be definitely be the easiest 50%. Just getting it after is a bit troublesome. Where does he end after that 50%? Because if he's off stage, there's a chance Swiss Tech can just get better all on black again. Can and again, Swiss just more find some magic here. No. I was expecting a dash attack, I'm not going to lie. Just a repeat of game one. Yeah, and then you, then, then you get grabbed. This is why GP is good at the video game. And he'll do it again. Yeah, yeah, he's scared. GP's really good at finding these grabs, honestly. It's a commitment to his skills as a player. Did not the third time. Yeah, got a bit we'll too obvious at though. that point. Will he get the ledge? Holds on nice to it too long. Conversion. Oh, he got so desperate oh. with that second back air. He got so greedy with that second back air. He should have stayed composed. Again, GP gets away with going high for like the 20th time today versus Swiss Tech. He's got to fix up if he wants to win this set, in my opinion. Because he's, he's going high a lot. Back at the stage select screen. Where, nope, he's just giving it the run back. PS2 it is.
All right. Once more with feeling then for GP. If he wins here, he's off to Grands to face you. Yes. <laughs> to get three odds. Both of them will get three odds. I respect I, the confidence, but I, I don't think I've won a tournament with no games drop before somehow. Because I usually actually, if it's a type of tournament where I win with no games drop, I usually throw with other characters. But I feel like grinding, so I'm going solo youngling, and I think it's I really want to win a tournament with no games drop. So I plan on 3 0 England. Well, wins this. the opportunity is there for you today, but right now, still Swiss Tech trying to hold on to his tournament against GP. Yeah. I'd like to fight Swiss Tech again. I don't really fight him much. I mean, this is today was my second time fighting him in bracket. Nice drag down. I kind of look like Greninja. I'm not gonna lie. It was really nice. Combo game is clean, and he'll get the grab off the reset of ledge as well. And yep. this is just extra percent tap on. Oh and my god! I catch. Sucks. Oh, the air dodge in. I'm surprised he didn't go for a grab there. I went yeah. last time, changing up for some reason. Ooh. And that that's the forward smash. Really nice kill, punish. But... Yeah. Oh, that was it. It was a nice catch, but he was just so close that yeah. the, the angle wasn't there, really. But I like the idea. Again, Swiss Tech just has all the momentum right now. Again, I know no one asked, but Sheik is so terrible. Because any other character, just hard reading the opponent for 30 seconds, they're dead. But Sheik, he still finds a way to survive. That's how bad Sheik is, bro. Last hit Nice up catch on the double jump. Not on purpose, but, you know, it'll take that. It's just, just the advantage of having an active up pair, right? You can just throw it out and just be in the general vicinity of your opponent, and sometimes it works out. Yeah. You got this lead. Swiss Tech still playing fast. Honestly, he could slow down if he wanted to, but he's. Um, he's I don't. He's I don't up think the you pressure. could afford to slow down versus GP. If the tempo goes his way, it becomes very easy to find stuff like that. I mean, you 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 you, you don't want to obviously give GP momentum because he's kind of a momentum based player in my opinion where he kind of figures out a habit and then he starts like yes. playing his advantage state around it but at the same time he does fall susceptible to camping so it's, 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 a, it's a mixed bunch depends what, he, depends what he can get away with nice setup we just saw there forcing the grab kind of looks like me gun and neutral B <laughs> the grenade one at least yeah like, okay now now Swiss Stack playing a little bit more patient Fades back, and as soon as he runs, he gets hit with an aerial. Catches no double jump. Setup. Bro, he has no double jump. Just kill him. <laughs> he dragged him down and said he gave him... Oh, no, he had the read again on the high recovery, but yeah, doesn't get the conversion. I mean, we were, we were all ready for the up smash there, but that would have been so weird to react to that I don't blame him. Fades the, the down tilts. But now, now GP's oh. at 130. How do you kill? I mean, he's, he's still in the two-hit KO range. So it's, not, it's not that bad right now. It's fine. I'm trying to get that pivot F tilt, but oh my god, that is lethal. It's not working. Oh, the mix up. Oh, never mind. Swiss stack not moment the mix up. 38. He Try loves going for those roll reads, but GP's not giving them to him. GP's not really a roller, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I mean, roll. like, you just, he threw the grenade on top of his face, but then just didn't have enough space to recover with the up B, so. That's not true, that was him. Oh, all the cross up. I did GP not know read that. that. Yeah, GP clearly, they've played a lot of times, so I guess he was fully aware. Mm. I had no idea that was how that interaction played out, but. Nice stuff from GP. I mean, obviously, GP's looking really strong right now. He's at 186, so he doesn't have those two hit combos. The fair trading. But you can't count Swiss Tag. Oh, we've seen him make that reverse three stock in game two. Yes. So, you now we'll see what he's cooking in this game. Oh, he was cooking, but if he got to turn the oven on, the combo just falls short. Now forced to play back. Does not want to approach GP like that, because that's how you get hit with a nair, but it's making it work so far. Catch him with the up tilt. This nope. is his window. Okay. All right. Drag down again. Ooh. This time gets the forward. Ooh, that was uh, really shot, me. clean. I love that. That was really clean. And that is just a lot of damage racked up. And he gets the early quick draw again. He's I mean, covering he's that zero to well. him. He's literally, he hasn't been touched yet on this second stop. Oh, that was it. Yeah, I that think we all sensed that bouncing fish coming off that <laughs> landing floor. I there. still got hit somehow. Oh, the Tech up smash. Chase. He wants the up smash. No, not finding it. GP getting his first hit on this last stock here. The very green reversal, almost dying for it. And the bad Oh, DI. man. Damn. Explosive and GP takes game. it. <laughs> Swiss Tech played absolutely oh. insane, but GP once again, iron stalwart mentality. All he needs is one hit at any given moment to take the set. And this time, 3-1 over Swiss Tech. As now, 
Kendrick Colmar leaves the commentary desk to swing in front of the player cam because he is the final boss of the tournament. It's time for your main event of the evening.